Hola mis queridos, como estas mi amor Alicia? Hola my kittens, how are you? My name is Allison, and today we are playing Grim Tales Bloody Mary Collector's Edition! Oh, jeez, almost lost my headphones. <laughs> and I forgot there was a heart right there. That totally reminds me of Bonfire Stories, Heartless. If you actually watch my gameplay of Bonfire Heartless, you should know that we have one video left to complete the entire series the entire game. So sad to see it go, because I was actually enjoying that game. I just don't like how the bonus game ends, unfortunately. Uh, but we're not here to talk about bonfire stories. We're here to talk about Grim Tales, Bloody Mary, oh my gosh. And I am actually just going to get to the main points, because I know I talk a lot in those main points. So let me get to it. The difference between the collector's edition and the regular game is basically the bonus content. The strategy guide, I think you might be able to buy it yourself for both the collectors and the regular. I could be wrong. Like I said, I could be wrong only because there's a collectibles part on and the bonus chapter on this strategy guide. That's why I'm hesitant to say that I might not be right on that, <laughs> basically. But let's look at the bonus content, see what you get with the Collector's Edition. You get the bonus game, which we have not started yet. Uh, we're still on Chapter 6, which we are starting on today. Uh, there's the wallpapers we're, and the concept art, as well as the screensavers. I am not going to go through those, as they might spoil the rest of the game, as well as the bonus game. Uh, there is the music, which I think is really nice. We're actually listening to track 1 right now. Let's switch to track 2. Uh, there is, I think, I do believe you can save this onto your computer, by the way, because of this little floppy disk here. And if you're not aware that this is called a floppy disk, you are not of the 90s. I do not mean to judge, but seriously, a lot of people, a lot of millennials, actually do not recognize floppy disks, because that's what the older computers used to use. My tower, my computer tower, uses CD-ROMs. I used to have one where it used floppy disks. That was... That's, that was years ago, jeez. Uh, there's, let's look at the achievements real quick. Because I think I might be, yeah, I think I might have completed all of these, actually. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Quick hands, quick hands. Supersonic hands, lightning hands. Yikes, I don't know. Oh, wow, there's the next easiest pie. Look, ma, no hands. Finish all these tofu without a hint. That ain't happening. <laughs> oh man, then there's the collectibles. I think I might have missed one. Yeah, I missed one. So when I get to the main game, I will check that out before we start chapter six. Sorry, let me get to the other main points that I always forget to do. <laughs> one, if you don't know what's going on in this current video, that is because you have not been catching up with the game that I've been playing here with Bloody Mary. You can check out the links down in the description blah, blah, description box below. <laughs> There's the previous video, uh, which you can get caught up with what happened in the previous video. Or I recommend checking out the playlist link because that'll have all the videos that I've done so far on Bloody Mary and you can get caught up right away. Well, not right away. Although that kind of would be nice. <laughs> Have the ability to like watch things supersonic. Oi! I'd get so much stuff done. At least on my things that I want to get done. <laughs> Not that I need to get done. Hey yo! And point number two, which is the last one, I want to point out that Grim Tales Bloody Mary is actually a pretty scary game. I know I've made a couple of jumps myself and kind of freaked out quite a bit when I tried to play ahead on making sure I don't look completely dumb. And gotta admit, Bloody Mary might be scarier than all of the Nancy Drew horror games. Well, Nancy Drew Halloween games, what I like to call them, because uh, that's when I would normally play those kind of games. I'm, I'm kind of a wuss. <laughs> Then again, the movie Stay Alive doesn't really creep me out anymore, except for a couple of scenes. I'm not going to mention Stay Alive. Stay Alive's much worse than Bloody Mary, but Stay Alive is more of a movie than a video game, even though the movie is based off a video game that technically doesn't exist. I kind of wish it did. Kinda. I don't want to cause that kind of thing happening. Uh, for those of you who have seen it, you know what I mean. Anywho, I do not recommend playing this game by yourself or playing it in the dark. If you are bold enough to do that, kudos on you, congratulations. But here's the thing, if you want to challenge yourself, 
by playing the game with no lights, with no friends, by yourself, I have a challenge for you. At any given point, if you get scared and you end up turning, the, turning a light on or asking someone, friend or not, family or not, to join you so you don't feel so scared, you have failed. And I dare you to post on any social account that you have. I'll be at Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, uh, the, what is it called? Flickr? LinkedIn. There's that one. That you are scared of a mouse. Yes, I know. I pulled the Her Interactive thing. Uh, <laughs> the Nancy Drew tagline for Her Interactive is, I'm not afraid of a mouse. But you're scared of this game. Therefore, you are afraid of a mouse. Heyo! There's even a Nancy Drew game where she is spooked by a mouse. Actually, no, it's not a mouse. It's a rat. <laughs> uh, so funny. Anywho, let's actually get going. We got a game to play. Continue, please. I think it's really cool they ha you get, that you get the option to reset, which is really neat. Alright, I am actually going to uh, look at the strategy guide. So we can find out where the collectibles are that I missed. Oh, I completely forgot about this. I am wasting time looking for these collectibles. I gotta... <laughs> Get to the rest of the chapter. Seriously. Okay. Alright. Um, we are... Yeah, we got that. Oh. What's up here? I don't remember... Oh, right! We still gotta get the buttons for the typewriter. What is it? If I wind them up? So I need something to wind this up. I see the hole now. Interesting. And I remember that. Alright. What is that? Oyster knife. Oh! Okay, that makes sense. The blade of this dagger can cut both ordinary and enchanted materials. Be careful. Huh. Oh! It actually shows us what needs to be cut. The the sheet on that mirror that we saw in the garden, I think it was? hey -o! Wait, what number is that one? Okay. So, I looked at the collect collectibles, and I'm realizing some of them are actually in rooms that I cannot get to anymore, which is really unfortunate. I don't know how we're going to be able to get the rest of get all of them. Which is unfortunate. Uh, I guess we need a key to this? It's a laundry basket. Interesting. The frog is look looks wrong without the other eye. Yeah. So we need an eye. I think that looks like a pearl. What the F? Why would you use pearls for eyes? I see we need a comb. Hey, yo. Milk. Alright. I'm still wondering what this milk is for. Uh, I think that's everything. Yeah. Alright, so what can we do now? We can go ahead and use this oyster knife, actually. Um. I swear that looks like a... We are pretty much done in this room, right? Yeah, because I remember getting the terror from this one. I don't get why it's... I still have access to that. We don't have access to the attic anymore. We got this terror. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> I forgot you can do that. Uh, and there was a terror here. I don't think there's a terror in here. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, this room is complete. Her cats can sleep soundly even when the house is crawling with demons they couldn't care less. Yep. Um, although that does kind of hint to you that there are more cats in the in this mansion. House. Whatever. <laughs> 
So, yeah, we can no longer access the attic, which is unfortunate. I think that's where we were missing um, the terror. I think there might have been one in here that we missed. And if not that one, it's in here. I don't know. I honestly don't know. We need death fraggers. Yoink. Dagger handle? Ooh, yes, these. Is that everything? Yeah. Do 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 do. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun, dun. What is that? A magnet? I forgot where I'm supposed to use that magnet. That kind of looks like a snowflake. But why am I not surprised that we have to unlock that mirror? Oi. Okay. Um. We need a seahorse and this. Something metallic is stuck in there. Oh! Okay. Jeez, I'm slow. Monster amulet. Wait, I recognize that shape. Wasn't that from this? Yeah, heck yeah. Now we're moving somewhere. Alrighty, so we need to move this guy over here. And we actually know the path, but we actually need to... Uh... We already had the ladder down already. But here's the thing. During the day, teachers would watch us closely, and we couldn't go anywhere. But we found ways to roam around at night. Monsters lurk in the shadows because light hurts them. And you boink. And we're at night. Let's get through. This is a diary entry about the boys getting into the Forbidden Cellar. You need to restore the course of events. Ah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. What is that? Nephrite medallion. Oh! Is that what we're supposed to use on the mirror? Heck yeah. We now have access to the mirror garden. Ugh, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. I don't want to be stung by bees. I should drive them away before getting any closer. Aren't you worried about being eaten by the tree as well? Sorry, sorry. I'm freaking out for no reason. Uh. Oi. No, that's a snapdragon. <laughs> yuck! 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 Ouch. Flowers look hungry. Maybe I can give them something tasty. Or something hot, hot, hot. Hi. Is that supposed to be a sock on the key? I tried to hide, but they caught me and tied me up. This place is so horrible that I thought no one would ever find me. I'm glad you did. Yeah. How you doing, buddy? I can't break free of these vines. Can you help me? Will do. I just need to find those keys. Uh, basket key. I saw you. Okay, I do have the achievement. Got it. Alrighty. This basket key goes right here. Yeah? Yeah. I think your bath will be more embracing than ever. Spicy sauce instead of shampoo. These kids went a bit over the line for sure. Yeah. Very hot sauce. Seasoning. Yeah. The zipper will be easy to open. If I find something to replace the missing tab. Yeah. Maybe we could just find the tab itself. Actually, wait. The best way to replace the mis uh, missing tab for a zipper... Paperclip or safety pin? Yeah. Or a hair tie. Or not hair tie. Um, well, yeah, technically 
I don't know what they're called. It's that middle bracket piece that women use to put in their hair. I forgot what they're called. They're not clippers. Those are fingernail clippers. Um, very spicy hot sauce. Yes. Hello. Something hot, hot, hot. Fly on your way, way, way. Fizzled. Uh, some might say they smoked away. Bad pun. Too soon. Ooh! Whirlpool amulet. Um. What is this? Something is missing from the mechanism, so I can't switch it on and off. Oi! What is that? I think. Is that supposed to be a net? Interesting, very, very interesting. Whirlpool! I'm betting that's got something to do with. Yeah. Ooh, is that what I think it is? Switch! That looks exactly like the switch we saw in the mirrored world. Hi. <laughs> Alrighty, Daddy. And we can use this little fella. Squeak, 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 squeakers. And the bunk. And yeah. And the bunk. Yeah. Hiya, Chunk. How you doing? Yeah. Oh, right. Heyo. I got the nut, nut, nut. Yoink. Ooh, paper clip. Oh, yeah. Nice. Very, very nice. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. <laughs> uh. Hey, fish amulet. I know where that goes. Let's go. Player. Yeah. To. Gosh dang it. Give me. Yeah. Boink. To go and hot, hot, hot. Boink. That was rather bursting. A serious, just don't listen to me. <laughs> uh, I make the worst puns. I, 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 I. I am Jose Alabeno. Jolly Roger and the 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 got it I go home. Straight bird, a mermaid, Frogger. Where's the Frogger? Here's the Frogger. Yeah. Yoink. Yoink. Awesome. Hi. That's it. Just a couple more vines and I'm out of here. Couple more. We just need one more lock. What are you talking about? I think there's a passage to the cellar through the bathroom. Here, try this. I took it from the uh, headmaster's room. Oh, this must be Brian. Huh? Hmm? Wait a second. I think we have a journal entry. Yep. Alrighty day then. Another monster was waiting for me in the library. I'm almost used to this, so I was barely startled. They might look more intimidating each time, but I know their weakness now. I found Brian in the mirror garden. The b poor boy was hanging upside down, but I was able to release him. The boy told me what he heard the headmaster say. Something about walling up the cellar to keep children away from trouble. I need to find that wall. Wait, what? What the bus is going on?
That is so weird. I don't think the diary entries are accurate. Yeah, sir. Hey. What the heck was that? I'm telling you, do not play this game by yourself. <laughs> Ooh, a bone. A silver bolt. Oh, snap. Is that a grave? Is that a casket? R.I.P. Dear Mary. And I think that's supposed to be the figurehead of Mary. Either that or a rose. Actually, yeah, I think it's supposed to be a rose. Because look, it's the shape of a flower. That is just so not right. The sarcophagus should open if I put something that fits the slot. <laughs> Are you sure you want to open that? <laughs> Yeah. So wait, if that's 12, yeah, these are where all the collectibles go, or where you can find all the collectibles. This is in the first chapter, or basically all the rooms that you can access up until, I think, chapter 5? Well, chapter 4, sorry. Chapter 4. And then here you can get in chapter 2, or chapter 3. I've I've got my things mixed up now. <laughs> um, but these, this room you need to access. You get access in chapter six. This one, chapter five. This one, chapter five. All these in chapter five. Um, but this one you can't access anymore. At least right now I can't. Oh, why did I look at that? Okay, so I'm actually getting moving pretty slow. Um, but I'm going to try to move as fast as I can here. Looks like we need some sort of key. Um, hmm. Guess we're opening that later. Because I don't. Aw, poor kitty. It looks thirsty too. Because it's smacking its lips. Or it's just saying meow and we can't hear her. Or him. Uh, ooh. What is this? Smoker. Oh, sweet. Oh, so we need a scythe. Need a tool to set the kaleidoscope apart. Okay, so a screwdriver of some sorts, maybe? Oh, wow, look at those footprints. <laughs> I need a blazing fire in this oven. How can I make this a really hot? Uh, by putting it ablaze. <laughs> Jokes. Bad jokes, bad puns. Can I access that? What is that room? I wish we could go back to these. Alright. Smoker, give me. Hi. We need to open that mouth. Ay yes. Pinball machine key. Yes. Ay 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 ay. Oh my gosh, this makes total sense now. Uh, you know what? Nope, nope, nope. Not saying it. Not saying it. Oh hey. Key those are keyboard typewriter keys. Yes, finally. Aye, 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 aye. Give me. You cannot hide. F you, the A. We still got quite a bit to do. I'm I'm trying to hurry as fast as I can because I'm pretty sure I am being super slow right now. Hi, Brian. You're free now! Yay! Thanks a bunch! Man, I'll never misbehave again after this. Sure. Here, take this ball. I kinda, uh, stole it, but I'll never do that again, I swear! Acting in this video, in this game, kinda sucks. <laughs> There's the evil Brian. Uh, 
baik. It's freaking meerkats. Oh, wait, sorry, I should have clicked on him. Uh, he's gone! Again! I just hope they're safe. Yeah, me too. Oh well. I had a chance to click on him, but I didn't. Dang it. Alright, so we got the pinball machine. Let's... Uh, okay, so basically, gotta follow that line. I am gonna go here, and ba boink and boink and... Yeah. Let's see that. Okay. There. Yeah. I think that might be it. Let's try it. Oh, I freaking forgot about the mouth. Wait, what? Oh, I forgot that's locked in there. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Washing machine door handle. Pft, pft, pft. Really? The placements of where things are hidden is just beyond whatever. Why does her? Why does? Why does Elfin Games do this? Ew. A bowl is a start, but some food is exactly what I need here. I just hope she's not lactose intolerant. Oh! Precious! Alright, uh, just a tip of- just an, a bit of advice. Do not give a cat or kitten milk. It is not the best idea to do. Not the best thing. Because honestly, you could... Oh, wait, where did I need to use the scythe? I forgot where I need to use the scythe. Oh, over here. Um, sorry, I got off track. Uh, it's not the best idea to give a cat or kitten a freaking milk. Because whether they're lactose intolerant or not, there's no way you can tell if they can tolerate milk, to be honest. There are some cats or kittens that are that can tolerate it, and there are cat and then there are ones who are who cannot tolerate it. And to be specific, like I've actually heard a story recently <laughs> he gave his cat milk and at some point and whenever the cat drank milk, it would just go absolutely nuts. And eventually had to be put down because it got cancer or something. Something bad happened to it that he had to pay like a whole bunch of money in order to fix the cat, in order to make the cat healthy. And he was like, I can't do that. I don't have the money. Poor guy. Anywho, this is the end of chapter six. And I am not going in there because what is about to happen is beyond, beyond my mind. Beyond what my mind can handle. Because seriously, oi, it is a turner. It is a cliffhanger. I am not doing that to you guys because it is mean and what the heck. Fortunately, Chapter 7 is actually the last of the actual game, except for the bonus game. Anywho, let's get going. I think I told you what happened with the collectibles. I am so sorry for not finding that one. You know what? I probably could play this all over again and try to get those collectibles. <laughs> Record them. <laughs> Anywho, I gotta get going. I gotta go to sleep. Oy. And in fact, I got a lot to do tomorrow because I gotta edit and upload a video for, well, who knows which game it is. I ain't spoiling it. I'm just kidding. You're. You should be able to watch it by by now, by the time this video is up, actually. It's e the uh, first video of the bonus game for Bonfire Stories Heartless Collector's Edition. The bonus game. I'm not happy with how the bonus game ends. But I am happy with what the Jigsaw Puzzle shows for one of the achievements. Uh, heck yeah. I am I'm willing to just hurry up with Bloody Mary, honestly, because I'm not liking this game. 
Only because they did it so well that it creeped me the heck out. <laughs> I really want to curse. <laughs> I have mentioned that Bloody Mary is an actual drink. An alcoholic drink, mind you. But, hey, I'm sure there's a version of Bloody Mary. Actually, I think a version Bloody Mary is just tomato juice. Because I know a Bloody Mary is like tomato juice and some sort of alcohol with it. Oh, by the way, if you want to make your own fake blood, it's uh, corn syrup and red dye. As long as you don't drink it, you're good. I mean, whether it's red dye number four or not, you should not be drinking or eating any kind of food coloring. Not very wise. Especially not corn syrup. Corn syrup is especially bad for you. And not just because it's manufactured slash processed sugar. Sugar cane in general is good to have, but the only way to have pure cane sugar is to process it. How wild is that? That's your education t uh, trivia for the day. <laughs> Um, as well as that cat trivia about the milk. It's a myth that everyone thinks cats can drink milk. Not all cats can drink milk, as I explained earlier. I'm freaking burbling here. <laughs> Babbling. Burbling. Whatever the word is. I, I'm so brain dead right now. I need to go to bed. <laughs> Anywho, I gotta get going as I keep saying. I love you all so, so, so much, my beautiful kittens and viewers. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did. Oi! <laughs> And on that note, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, smash that like button like a kitten would. And if you're just now tuning into this channel by watching this video, go ahead and click, 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 click that ugly red subscribe button. Make it that beautiful gray, as well as the bell icon right next to it. I hope you all have a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. I am Sweet Rascally Rabbit, saying goodbye. Stay awesome and stay on YouTube! Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Circle each time you say it. Oh, dang it, I just told you how to play the minigame.